Here's a riddle for you. I decided to go out into the yard to see if I could find little teeny weeny pieces of meteorite because they're usually magnetic. So I got my big trusty two inch by four inch by one half inch thick magnet. I'm sorry, it's one inch thick. And I started running around the ground and I noticed something very peculiar. This here is just good old fashioned dirt. This is the dirt that we use in our garden. We grow our plants, our tomatoes, and our cucumbers in it, what have you not, and our flowers. This is just dirt. If it's just dirt, then why does just dirt do this? It sticks to the magnet. That is crazy. Why is dirt sticking to a magnet? I guess because it's not really dirt. It's metal. This is crazy. I thought dirt was non-metallic, non-magnetic. Look at that. Look at all that dirt. And I'll turn the magnet around to the other side. Look at that. Look at all that dirt. Well, supposed dirt sticking to this magnet. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say that lightning strikes in areas that favors, wow, look at all that. Good Lord. That magnets, I mean, that lightning favors property where the magnetic field is higher. So I'll bet you the density of this magnetic property, it turns over, it's sticking to this magnet. Look at that, the bowl's basically empty. I'm empty it this way. Yep, now the bowl is basically empty. Oh, look at a little bit more right there. Everything was basically stuck in, that, in this bowl is now on this magnet. Look at that. Can you believe that? Since when does our dirt and our yard act in a magnetic fashion. I've never heard of such a thing. Have you?